Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be trying out the Overtone Coloring Conditioner in Espresso Brown. I've been wanting to try Overtone for a while and in case you saw my last video where I sort of accidentally dyed my hair dark, I figured this might be a good way to sort of keep it up but also at the same time just use this as a dye. If you did see that video, I will show you guys the update on how my hair has faded. But before we get into it, I would love if you would consider subscribing if you are new. I do mostly hair videos on this channel and I also do a few other random things thrown in as well every once in a while. If you are returning, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Excuse this like random old t-shirt that I'm wearing. I just wanted to wear something that I don't mind if it gets stained. But yeah, basically about five or six weeks ago, I attempted to go over my color with a sort of demi-permanent color. What I had before was sort of a balayage, I guess. It was an attempt at an all-over color, but it was basically just most of my hair bleached and toned, um, which is just demi-permanent color on top of that bleach. So then when that color faded, I kind of just looked like I had a brassy balayage and I wanted to go over my hair. Long story short, it ended up turning out way darker than I expected it to, and I kind of loved it. So I've had this darker hair ever since. But it has faded from what it was. It was like a really dark brown. So it still is dark brown, but hopefully you guys can tell in this lighting, it's definitely faded to a little bit more of a lighter brown. It's not quite as even. There's some pieces, I don't know if you can tell underneath my hair, that the color just like came out pretty quickly. And then I think it's this side of my hair too, where it's just a lot lighter than it was when I originally dyed it. It's not horrible. But I do want to go over it because I want it to be a more even color. So we're going to go in with the Overtone Espresso Brown Color and Conditioner. I'm hoping this is going to be pretty dark. It looks pretty dark on the package. And I am going to use these little gloves that they sent along to avoid staining my hands. I also got the Overtone Espresso Brown Daily Conditioner. So we'll see how that goes to kind of keep it up. But for now, we're using the other one. I probably shouldn't have put these gloves on before I take the seal off of this container. That like immediately got on my fingers. It looks very thick, which is nice because that's gonna mean it's less messy and runny. And so it won't get all over my tile and stuff and stain it. But I do have a towel here just in case. Ooh, that is really thick. It's like chocolate pudding. It smells very minty, like almost like eucalyptus though. I'm gonna get up as close to my roots as possible, but I feel like it's gonna be hard to be super precise because this is really thick. Maybe I shouldn't be too picky on the underneath parts because it fades pretty quickly anyway and you're not going to see it as much. But I don't have a lot of space on my SD card right now so I might like do some of the middle layers and then come back for the top sections. Just because I don't want to use up all my space and not have any left to film, I really need to get a new SD card. It's bad. I can't get my glove off. These are like really cheap gloves and they're just sticking to my hand. Okay, this is where we're at. I've already made a mess with it around my hairline, but I just have one section left here on the top. So I'm just gonna kind of like split this. I will say that did not take long. It was like 10 minutes or something. If that, this is definitely much faster than using the Demi Permanent Color because it's much, much thicker. So it's way less messy, it's not going to splatter everywhere, and you don't have to do any mixing. It just comes right out of the can or whatever. I will say though, I have a feeling this is not going to last the way the Demi Permanent Color did. I'm going to have to touch up more and use the daily conditioner and stuff, because that stuff lasted like really well. Like It's still definitely in my hair after almost six weeks. but I put in a new SD card and I put my hair up and I should probably read how long it says to leave this on. 
10 to 15 minutes and rinse thoroughly with warm or hot water. So I'll probably do 15. I'm just not gonna count the time it took to put on because it really didn't take very long. It was definitely a much quicker process than it's ever been dyeing my hair, so I think this will be pretty easy to upkeep. But anyways, this is about how much I used. So I would say around half of the tub, maybe even less, because there's like a dip in the middle and there's more on the sides. Yeah, for the amount of hair that I have and like the fact that it's thinned out and I have layers and stuff, it definitely seems like it's gonna last me decently well. It's not a super cheap product, so I guess that's a good thing. I'll have them linked down below so you can go look or I'll have the prices on the screen because I'm not sure exactly what it was. I think I spent around $50 for both of these. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit and then I'll rinse it out and style my hair. I'll probably like style it with my natural lace and then I'll be back and show you guys the results. All right guys, so it's actually the next day. It got dark outside before my hair dried and I just wanted to have better lighting. So I decided to just wait till today and show you guys my results. As you can see, my hair is very dark. It actually looks very similar to how it did in my other video maybe even like a smidge darker. I have to say though, here at the top of my roots, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell on camera, but it's like lighter than the rest of my hair and it almost looks like, I don't know, maybe even slightly lighter than it did before I dyed it, which doesn't really make any sense and I'm not sure. What I'm probably gonna do is use the daily conditioner at my roots there and just kind of let it sit the next time before I wash my hair because from what I've been seeing about this product, it actually is similar to this in that it actually does make a big difference in coloring your hair. So I'm gonna try to keep you guys updated about this. Probably will end up being on my community page or in another video, we'll see. I know I can be bad with that sometimes, but I'm just gonna have to give this a little time and see how it wears and um, fades and everything like that. But so far, I really, really like these results. I think that my hair is like the perfect tone that I wanted. I love this really, really dark brown where it's like almost black. I think that it's so pretty and I'm just loving the dark hair on myself now. I don't know when I'm gonna go back, to be honest. I really, really like this dark hair. And if you guys are curious about what products I use, I mean, I would say it's pretty average results for me. I have some top pieces here that are really defined, but then some underneath pieces that aren't as much, which is pretty normal for me, but I did sleep on my hair last night and it was pretty much completely dry, but maybe just like a smidge of it was a little bit damp yet. So that might've made a difference, but I used my Playa shampoo and conditioner. I have the everyday shampoo and the supernatural conditioner. And then to style, I use the pros curl cream that I have and my Weed Out Advanced Climate Control Heat and Humidity Gel. This one's like pretty much completely empty. And then I used this Day Prickly Pear Hair Oil. I've been trying this out lately. I got it as a gift and I think that this is such pretty packaging. It also smells really good. So I've been enjoying this so far. I used this to scrunch my hair out this morning and those are the products that I used to get the results that I have. Like I've said before, you guys, it's hard to show like my results with hair this dark because there's not like quite enough contrast to really show what my waves look like. But anyways, my final thoughts for this video is that I really enjoyed the results that this gave me. And like I said, I'm gonna try to keep you guys updated on it. So this is just sort of a random little video. I thought I would show you guys how the overtone worked on my hair. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you enjoy my content and you haven't already. I appreciate that so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.